Hello again. I am working with the UB Tech EDU UKIT Intermediate and I built their model called the Owl. So here is my owl, his eyes, his nose, those what those tufts that some owls have up above. This setup here with the yellow and gray are pretty much just a structure to hold these as well as the eyes. We put a speaker on the back with the power switch kind of stuck in between. They made it all, designed to make it all nice, kind of pretty much centered. Though you could have just put it anywhere in the back there, right? Um, I think these are supposed to be wings, but I would have actually done the wings differently. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. I would have put the wings down, oops, I would have put the wings down farther. I would have put the wings down here. Though that now makes it kind of unstable and you might have to build feet or might have to build a support on the back. Oops, sorry about that. Um, so that's just my little tweak. Get you back together. Oh, I put it up the unevenly. Sorry about that. Um, this is showing you a nice little joint kind of thing here in the middle. Looks a good thing. So we've got some lights, we've got a speaker to do some sounds and make some things light up. Um, again, UKIT EDU. Um, let's go back home. Yeah, yeah. Models. This was the owl. Again, start with that. You can always turn things around. And then you finish, you say, hey, I'm done, ready to start coding. Um, make sure you are attached, that you're uh, Bluetoothed. Am I on? Apparently I am not turned on. So make sure you get coming. There we go. Oh, the lights kind of start to light up and the speaker kind of beeped to let us know. Connecting. Bluetooth speaker. I got two lights, Bluetooth speaker, okay. And again, let's look at see what the example programs they had. So when run is tapped, do some emoji stuff with, oh, they've got some built-in um, emoji ideas. Then you can change the colors with them. Um, and then play an effect. Play effect, play effect, animal. So there's some different animals or machines, emotions, commands that you can play for audio. And again, the, there's the meanwhile or completed where it's gonna do a, a line of code. And if it says meanwhile, it's gonna go on to the next one. If it says completed, it's gonna finish that line which is important for timing. So here we go. We're going to hit play and watch the owl. So the meanwhile is making that sound happen while the blinking kind of thing is happening with the red. So there's lots of variables you can do there with the LEDs. And the emotions, the emoji things, and then animal. You know, bird is the closest thing. There was no owl in the thing, I guess. All right, so let's see what example two has. Um, just lots of different, more, more playing with the uh, the emoji with the LEDs. Let's see what those do. So we're gonna blink red, and then green's gonna be their happy. Um, I guess so. And then blue is going to be surprised. That's their uh, built in kind of thing for the LEDs. Now, obviously, you can code the LEDs any way you want. Um, that was the emoji one. There's just uh, display different things disco, color stack. I mean, 
different ones you can do there. Um, let's see what we got. Custom. Where you just get to pick the colors that you want for which LED kind of thing. And again, remember, you got LED 1 and LED 2 to play with. You can do them at the same time. You could do them separately. Different things to work with. And what was the other one? Um, oh, do it for a duration. Okay, instead of just an on kind of thing. And then if you just turn them on, you might have to turn them off. All right. So was that three? I can't remember. Oh, no, let's see what three does. Oh, three, oh, three gets into some neat, neat coding. He tries to show you this idea of variables um, and random integer and if statements. It's got a whole bunch there. Um, so if we wanted to, have to let three things happen at random, that it's just going to happen. That's what the random integer from one to three is. And three things that could happen are then popped into three different if statements. Well, how do, you how do I make one of the if statements work as opposed to the other ones, well, that's where the idea of variable comes in. That you create some variable, and they just called it variable one. And then the if statement says, if variable one equals one, do this. If variable one equals two, do that. If variable three equals, if variable one equals three, do that other thing. And that random integer thing there is going to, every time it comes through, it's going to make that variable one be a one, two, or a three at random. Um, so that shows up down here in math. Usually that's like an X and you just click on it and change the name from X to variable and then set to, to variable to whatever you want to call the variable. Um, sometimes when we're doing things with timing, we call it time, which makes sense, right? And then there's the random integer. Um, so here we go. It's just going to randomly do, take its pick on things. So the red might show up twice in a row. The yellow might show up three times. I mean, you don't know. But it's not just going to be sequential, which is idea of random. And now here's one thing that, that they didn't do. So I'll grab up a new one. Um, uh, record your own sound. I mean, there was no owl there. So I grabbed from show, I grabbed, uh, you know, my recording kind of thing so let's play my recording uh, record you have any files tap record okay have all the kids making owl sounds ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know recording was a success yay so now I play my recording recording one hooray um, and I want to play more than once so I'll just tell it to restart. Have all the kids making owl sounds. Have all the kids making owl sounds. So now obviously I didn't. I just wanted to show you recording. You could do a much better owl sound than I did. So um, that's the idea of Lots of things with, with an owl, with lights and sound and random and variables and ifs. Have fun and play with them all.